Hi and welcome here from Gigabyte in Taipei, Taiwan. We're at Computex. We will have in total four videos where we're covering the Gigabyte booth. We will go through some laptops, some very interesting mainboards, obviously X570. We will cover the latest AMD mainboards. For now, I found the Aero 15, which is a very interesting notebook. I think it got um, rewarded with the European Hardware Awards uh, for the best 15-inch laptop. And it has an OLED display. It has a 9980HK CPU. It has 2080 QMAX design NVIDIA GPU, so very powerful for the size. And obviously, it has a 9980HK, which means that it's overclockable. So I asked the Gigabyte stuff if it's, if it's OK that I hook this up to the internet and use some of my tools and if I can do some testing obviously I didn't tell them that I'm doing overclocking on this thing because then they would probably not allow it so we will just try and see what we can achieve with this it's 9980, uh, 9980HK CPU is an engineering sample in here at least CPU Z is reading ES which is interesting the CPU is currently clocking something like 4.5, 4.7 gigahertz stock which is already really high CPU can boost up to 5G and we will just use Intel XU now. I just installed Intel XU. And we, we already can see that we have some options. So we can adjust the vCore, the ICC Max, so the current that flows through the CPU. We can adjust the power limits, which is probably the most important thing. And we can also adjust the CPU ratio. So we will just try and see if we can push this over 5G. So what I tried so far is adjusting the CPU voltage offset with an additional 100 millivolts which will give me a little bit more stability just for high frequency. Obviously, it will also um, result in a much higher power consumption, so the temperature is tending to be higher. But I adjusted all cores to maximum 5.2G now, which you can see in CPU-Z. It's boosting up to 5.2G. 5 you can see it on some of the cores, like 5187. The problem is that I still cannot get the CPU to stay at the max clock for now, but I'm trying to find the option to fix that. CPU uh, is stable enough to run R15 Multi and Single. I already performed the run. So Single is very strong with alma almost 200 points. It's almost 9900K desktop performance and Multi with 1228 points. So I tried multiple different things. Now I tried to create a different power plant to make sure the CPU stops down clocking all the time. But to do that, we would have to access BIOS, which I actually did. But there was no option, obviously. It was kind of obvious that we couldn't touch this option in BIOS, but yeah. So for now, the only thing we can do is uh, see how high we can push the CPU just clockwise. So as you can see, I adjusted the power target, the turbo boost to around 380 watts, and also increased the ICC max to 255, so make sure it's not limited by anything. We'll keep the core voltage at plus 100 millivolt for now. I really don't want to do like plus 200, because if I break this, I'm sure Gigabyte will not be happy. But we'll just try what we can do, like max frequency-wise. 5.3 works. 5.4 also works. So you can see some cores are boosting uh, 5388. Let's try to do 5.5. Oops. I think we crashed it. <laughs> so 5.5 would be too much, but I mean, how many desktop CPUs, how many 9900Ks can do 5.5? So that's it for the Aero 15, a very impressive thing. So 5.4 gigahertz was possible on this, which is not possible on most of the 9900Ks. That also shows that mobile parts are typically higher quality because the power consumption has to be even lower under load. So the 9980HK in this thing is really, really good. I think if we would be allowed, or I didn't really ask, but I think if we would ask to push the CPU voltage even higher, this thing would probably run 5.5 gigahertz, which is, especially for 15 inch, it's absolutely impressive. Also, the build quality overall is very, very solid. So this doesn't really wobble around. So the display is really strong. It really feels strong. Also, the button like FN and Escape, which allows you to lock the fan speed at the maximum, is also quite cool, especially if you're using this for rendering, for example. Then imagine like the stuff I'm doing right now here at Computex, I need a, no a notebook for video editing. And then you would probably cut your stuff in Adobe Premiere. Once you're done, you're rendering. And once you're rendering, you can just adjust the fan speed to 100% because it doesn't really matter. You're not getting annoyed by the fan speed and then it will run at maximum performance. So that's it for uh, just randomly overclocking a 9980HK in the Aero 15. 
check back for the next Gigabyte Boot video.